hello students let us start our second chapter land soil water vegetation and water life in the first module of this chapter we already done land while in the second chapter we done second part sorry we done soil and in the third module in detail we done the distribution of soil so let us come to this third part of the chapter that is water in our this fourth module of the recording water resources if we come to earth then the two third part of the earth is covered our surface is covered with water and only one third part of the earth is this land part so our earth has a lot of water and that is why earth is also known as a blue planet the first topic of water resources is about the utilization of water how to use water we are utilizing water for different different purpose because water because water is essential for all form of life all form of life means we are using water for domestic purposes means in our house for bathing cleaning kitchen works etc agriculture india is an agriculture nations and maximum part of the fresh water is using for agriculture purpose industries if we see then maximum industrial cities of the world are located on the bank of rivers delhi on the bank of yamuna kanpur and industrial city on the bank of kan uh, ganga again london on the bank of thames new york on the bank of river hudson etc water is also used in the modern world for the production of hydroelectricity increasing populations and rising demand of water for food and cash crops also we are using water for this purpose because of the increasing population the urbanization is also increasing means the demand for domestic and other purpose of water is also increasing because of urbanization we see rising standard of living of peoples and because of this the consumption of this water is now too much increased we can see this through this data In the year 1975, India is using only 3,850 cubic kilometer per year. While in the year 2000s, it is approximately doubled by 6,000 cubic kilometer per year. Within 25 years, the consumption of water is doubled. If we see our earth the water is distributed in all these forms it is a renewable natural resource which is found in the three fourth part of earth surface and that is why earth is also known as a water planet or a blue planet if we come to oceans then over 
टू थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ सरफेस इज कवर्ड बाय ओशंस ओनली इन विच द पैसिफिक ओशन कवर्ड द फोर्टी फोर परसेंट अर्थ सर्फेस एरिया सो दिस इज वट वी सी दैट द मैक्सिमम पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ वाटर इज अ सेलाइन वाटर सॉल्टी वाटर it support a rich variety of planets and animals life also as we see the maximum part is the saline water so if we come to the fresh water then it is only 2.7% of the total water available on earth among this fresh water the 70% of the total fresh water is in the form of ice sheet in the northern plate north pole south pole and in glaciers and only 1% of we can say less than 1% of the total water available on the earth is fit for use so this is how we see that only a very few amount of water is available for our use for example this is the total amount of water on earth among this only this person this much of water is a fresh water and among this only this dot is a water which is available for us or which is fit for use but in this this much amount of water that is the 1% of water the maximum part of the water drain on oceans because they are in the form of rivers and rivers draining sea so a very less amount of water is available for us and that is why water is a very important source of resources for us let us understand water cycle whatever water is drained is given by nature to us is become a ocean that as i said that rivers drain in sea so maximum part of water become a saline water again that water become a clouds and reached on earth surface as a fresh water this is in the form of water cycle the water because of the heat and sun water vapors rise up and become a cloud then these clouds comes to lithosphere where they rain on the lithosphere and this is how we get get the fresh water from here in the form of rivers the water again drain on see and this is how what we see is the cycle of water this is known as water cycle which i think you all of you know that's all in the fourth module of the chapter in the next part we continue the water resources with its problems and solution any kind of problems and doubt please send me comments i'll definitely reply to you or you can visit to me on my blog which is bipin dogra dot blogspot dot in thank you